guys and welcome back to my channel um, to my fourth fourth weigh-in which means it's my fourth week on slimming world and I'm do you know what I'm loving it like I don't feel like I'm on anything do you know what I mean like I don't feel like I'm on a diet I will say I feel like I have to make different choices um, but it's like it's easy it's getting easier I'm feeling it's a bit more it's not much willpower involved if you know what I mean um, first of all I've got to apologize because I didn't do a video on Sunday um, if I'm totally honest I had a few friends round on Saturday evening and we had a really good night and um, I do you know what I made everyone sin free food I made those um, it's really good if you're having a party okay if you want to stay on track and you're, and you're having a party try and suggest this around your home if you want to stay on track and then say oh come round I'll do some you know nibbles I didn't I didn't put a full on three course dinner I just did some like um chicken drumsticks like deviled I think they're called chicken drumsticks that I took all the skin off and then married them and roasted them I did some corn on the cobs with them um, like a herb dip and then I made like um a roast um roasted red pepper hummus and I just did loads of veggies like celery carrot and um, cucumber and red pepper and stuff to dip in and it went down a storm because people were like oh my gosh and I was like yeah I could eat all of those if I wanted it wouldn't make a difference like, I wouldn't have because it was like loads but you know everyone couldn't believe it and it was quite exciting because my other friend was here she's also on Slimming World as well so it was nice you know we didn't go off track too much except for well the whole point was to have like a couple of glasses and then you know when your friends come around it turned into like oh I bought a bottle of Prosecco I bought a bottle of Prosecco and then before I knew it there's a few bottles of Prosecco open so I was a little bit worse for wear on Sunday because I, I can't do hangovers anymore like I think I've hit 30 and I'm like I just I just can't handle the hangovers the next day like I get really bad um so apologies for that but I'm gonna make it up to you I promise this week right so anyway, this is my fourth way in video. Um, I've been to class this, well, this afternoon, um, and I can tell you, even after my weekend, with sin-free food, but not sin-free alcohol. They don't do sin-free alcohol, why? Why can't there be a sin-free alcohol, isn't that? Never mind. Um, even with that night, uh, night off-ish, I've managed to lose some weight. So I'm gonna show you my little plaque, which is looking a little bit worse for wear. I don't know, I understand why, when I, um, popped my things in so anyway here we are this week guys I lost two and a half pounds bring it on and um, so I've got 21 pounds I'm off I'm off I've knocked the half off you know trying to work out the halves are really difficult uh, 21 pounds left until I get to my target and I've got 11 I've lost 11 pounds so far I'm really really chuffed with that I really I I was shocked I lost again like every week I I don't know like I, I don't seem to feel like I've lost weight and then I'll put some clothing on like I've got these jeans that I insist on wearing and they're getting a bit baggy for me now and I just think oh I, I can see it in them but anything else I can't I can't feel it in myself it's bizarre because you know 11 pounds is a good shift isn't it so I've got three pounds until I get to a stone so I think next week I'm gonna do a couple of these oh, here we go SP days if anyone of you watching me has done an SP day if you wouldn't mind letting me know how you thought it went and if you've got a bit of like what you ate on that day like you know breakfast lunch dinner kind of thing um what you did any good recipes for an SP day can you let me know because I think I'm going to try and do a couple of SP days next week so that I might reach my stone because I've got three pounds to get until I get a stone and I want to kind of like I lost four pounds the first week, so you know, and I've lost one and a half pounds second week, and three pounds, and then two and a half. So it's, it's doable, you know. It is. I, th I feel like it's doable. Um, if, it, if I don't get it, I don't get it, you know. I'll perhaps get it the next time. It's fine. But I'm three pounds away to losing a stone, so I would like to kind of like push the boat out a little bit this week with a, uh, an you know, an SP day. So if anyone's got any tips for SP days, please comment or message me or whatever. I would really really love to know so yeah that was my weight loss i'll show you my book because you know me i like to show that i'm honest so i don't know if you've got that there yeah so two and a half off this week i'm really i'm really really proud of myself like 
I'm shocked because and I think the shock comes from I haven't struggled like you know you think oh my god like I haven't eaten hardly I have nothing of this and nothing of that I mean I had curly really last night it was amazing you know I had hot chocolate and I, you know I've had those things I think that's why it's harder to believe because you've had those naughties I've sinned I've had for about Prosecco as you all know and wine and chocolate and I've had popcorn oh I gotta show you something I gotta tell you something about popcorn after as well in a minute but yeah so anyway that done two and a half pounds off I'm pleased so yeah I went to class tonight and I managed to get my hands on the new salted caramel bars I haven't tried one yet I had two high five bars for breakfast this morning for my B choice I'm gonna have one tonight with a cup of tea I think three sins I'll be fine um but yeah I don't know what you guys think of them uh, let me know in the comments I'm looking for apparently there's a mocha coming out I'm sure it's mocha I'm looking forward to that because I love me a little bit of coffee flavor and you know like I love flavored coffee chocolates and stuff you know I'm, I'm into coffee flavored stuff so yeah I managed to get these in class this week I only bought one box because I've got a few hanging around in the cupboard and the new summer world magazine is out so I did get my put my hands on this I have had a quick peek through um I was gonna show you because there was one recipe I think it's a bit valentine's -y, which is kind of cute everything's pretty much cut into heart shapes and heart dustings of everything everywhere so have a little look what I've been what I saw if I can find it oh, see I better won't be able to find it now See, live TV is now, it doesn't go to plan. That was it. Only because it looked really cheesy and naughty. Sausage and bean pasta bake. Oh, that looks really good, doesn't it? So, I think I'm definitely cooking that next week. And that was it, yeah. So, I had a quick flick through in class while we were waiting to start. So, I managed to get my hands on that. So, that's out. Now, then, on to what I've been loving this week and new things that I've bought that I haven't tried so if you've got these things and tried them please let me know so anyway what i have tried and what i have been loving last time i showed you the um dow egbert's caramel coffee i managed to get my hands on the hazelnut bad boy i prefer the hazelnut to the caramel i don't know it's really good it's kind of like a frere rocher <sighs> It's good. I prefer to the caramel, if I'm honest, hence why there's quite a lot gone out of it already. But, you know, recommend that totally. I think they're like 2 95 and they're sin free. Bar for you, you know, your milk, which is healthy, eh? They, you know, they're sin free. So, yeah, I really, really recommend the hazelnut one if, you know, you're into nuts. Um, what else have I bought this week? Now, these are the Muller Light, um, the, the Greek style coconut and vanilla. Now, I'm sure these are a sin value and I didn't realize until this week I think please comment below if I'm wrong I'm not sure if these are half a sin each and I'd be mentioning them all week okay I'm not too disappointed because I've lost two and a half pounds anyway but I just assumed they were free because it's like no percent added and I I don't know because there's no percent added sugar I was thinking oh they must be free in my head I don't know can you tell me are they free or are they half a sin but anyway I have been joining them either way I'd be I'd be annoyed if I used half a sin on them not because they're not worth it just because I didn't know but I gotta use them up so I gotta bite the bullet now and that's fine but yeah so let me know guys if they are half a sin are they free if you can let me know on those but I have been loving them and also fruit of the week ah nectarines I've eaten like three punnets of nectarines. I'm such a, like, if I'm a, if I eat fruit, like, I love it for like a few days and then I, I'm like, I'm off melon now. Like, do you remember a couple of weeks ago? I was like, I'm so into melon. I love melon. I'm obsessed with melons. I'm not really fussed on melon now. <laughs> I'm all meloned out. But now I'm into these. And I've had like three punnets this week of nectarines. They're really sweet. They're really juicy. I feel like I've had a treat when I've had one. Mm, they're really, really good. And I think they're a speed food. So yeah, I'm liking those. Right, what else have I been loving this week is, it's a bit of a naughty, well, it's not even naughty, it's not that bad. Trust me, it's pretty good. I, you know, As you know me, I do my online shop 
with Tesco and with Tesco if they haven't got the item you've ordered they substitute it and you pay the same price or there's a difference if it's more expensive or whatever you know you you don't end up out of pocket you kind of end up doing quite well for yourself usually um, and I ordered the Metcalf skinny popcorn okay but they didn't have that so they substituted it with the Sun Bites whole grain popcorn sweet and salty there's six packs in here and they are the 14 gram packs now guys if you like popcorn I gotta say these are two and a half sins per pack I just popcorn lasts forever anyway have you ever been to cinema and a big tub of popcorn you're still munching it in the films then you're like Jesus popcorn's lasting forever popcorn's like that isn't it it's just it's just it's just that it just uh, you know refills itself so anyway these don't refill themselves but they last forever for two and a half cents and you've got a bit of a I don't know what I want do I want chocolate do I want crisps I don't know I want sweet and salty that's what you want you want a bit of both and you want them in a popcorn packet and two and a half cents I think they're less than the Metcalf skinny I don't know they might I don't do you know what I haven't actually looked but I just thought I was wowed because I was like oh my god two and a half cents for those and they're amazing and they last for, like the pack lasts you ages you just mention and mention and mention so I thought I'd re mention these because these are a pretty good treat and I had two packs of them this is I've already used one pack I've had six packs of popcorn this week but I lost two and a half pounds six packs of popcorn That's doable so yeah thought I'd mention these two guys you need to get them brilliant um, I have bought two new things which I haven't tried um, so I'll show you the smallest thing first because the other one's quite big so this is the Mayflower curry sauce mix now I have seen loads and loads and loads about it now I think it has a sin value I do not know what it is but I've heard so much about this I'm prepared to like use some sins up for it so if you can give me any information on this, I, I will look myself anyway, but if you've got any suggestions as well on how, what to do, do I make a Chinese curry with it? Do I make like dipping sauce for chips, Slimming Wheel chips with it? So just put a pour all over my Slimming Wheel chips, that'd be lovely. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the Mayflower um, curry sauce mix. Um, I will Google to see if I can find the sin value of it or if you can tell me quick enough that'll be even better so yeah I'm gonna try that I'll let you know how I get on with this next week and what I make with it because I can definitely make some, something out of it like a Chinese curry I'm thinking a bit of you know egg fried rice and that kind of thing so yeah I'm excited about that and next oh this beast of a thing I don't know if anyone's told you I'll be going on about soup makers hello this is my new toy i like a kitchen gadget i gotta say and when i told my I said to my i said to my husband nick i was like i really want um a soup maker and he was like what this is such a thing i'm like yeah it exists it's a you know, saute and soup maker and he said um well you've got enough gadgets in the kitchen unless you get rid of a couple when you don't have nothing so i managed to you know sell a few bits or whatever the second hand and get rid of a few bits and whatever so i said i'll clean the cupboard so anyway he's bought me this as a treat and this is the morphe richards um saute and soup maker now i love a soup and i'm starting my new job soon and i thought oh I could, if i could make soup in bulk um i could take it to work then for my dinner um plus i do generally like soup anyway i think it's really easy my daughter holly she's four of her she eat soup until the cows come home that's her favorite thing and this like takes 20 minutes so she's like oh mommy mommy i want soup i can just like say okay baby you know watch cbb's for 20 minutes and i can go make a soup so i'm quite excited however i need to buy this little book of soups from sewing world book it didn't have it there last there uh, today when i went i was gutted because i was prepared to buy it to make start cracking on with some soups so if you guys do have a soup maker and you've got some really good soup recipes i would love to hear them and just comment down below for me because i want to christen my new my new shiny toy which i love very much but yeah so i'm quite i'm quite excited i'm quite excited to get into the old soup making especially because it's, 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 it's going to be easy isn't it this is going to be brilliant so yeah i'm quite excited i will let you know if i come up with any soups next week in my next video and tag them in there oh it does loads of things i'm quite excited about that. oh 
it's really heavy though as well. Um, right, on to what I'm cooking this week. I've got my handy list from my little food plan thing that goes on my fridge. So I'm gonna make um, this week, I, I used to love making, before I dieted, like stuffed chicken. So like stuffed chicken with like a cream cheese and then wrap it in parma ham and that kind of thing. But they, on Slimming World, there was a recipe for a pesto stuffed chicken, which I believe has got a cork in it. So I'm gonna give the wheel with the old cork. It's not wrapped in anything, it's just stuffed. And then I'm just gonna serve it with salad and some, you know, um, some oil chips maybe, or jack potato, that kind of thing. I'm gonna make the Slimming World Bolognese. Uh, so I'm going to use like lean minced beef, make a bit of a bolognese sauce, fill it with like carrot, pepper, and that like loads of speedy stuff. And then I'm going to serve it with um, just tagliatelle. My daughter's favourite is bolognese, so she's going to love that. Uh, and back to, I'm going to make a burger and chips. I've done some real burger before. Excuse me, there's something in my eye. Oh gosh. Um, yeah, so making a Slimming World burger and chips again. Um, I love like I gotta say, I just love a burger. And do you know when I have a burger, I feel like I've been really naughty, even though it's, I haven't. Um, I'm also making Slimming World pulled pork. So I've ordered like um, a pork joint, um, and then I'm just gonna cut, remove all the fat and then put it in the slow cooker with, with the sauce ingredients, and then just leave that cook really slow. I'm just gonna have like pulled pork and salad, in, a big, um, in some sort of bread roll maybe, use my healthy bee for that. Um, I'm also making, um, I haven't had risotto for, my gosh, a hell of a long time. Um, so yeah, I'm making a chicken and bacon risotto again, Slimming World chicken bacon risotto. Um, again, I think that's free, there's no sin value to that. And then curry of the week, because you know I always make a curry, I'm making the Slimming World chicken korma. So yeah, that's it guys, that's what I'm, well, that's what I'm gonna be eating this week. Um, I've been quiet on Instagram this week, I don't know why, do you know what, I think I've just forgot. Like, I've been really hungry, and I've just come to eat my dinner, I'm like, oh, I didn't take a photo of it. So next week, I'm back on the Instagram with the old um, pictures of my beautiful food stuff from, to show you all. So yeah, that's what I'm cooking this week. Um, usual now, so just, let me know if you've got any recipes for the Mayflower. Let me know if you've got any good soup recipes. Um, let me know the sins on the light yogurt. And I'd be a one happy girl. Um, if you haven't subscribed to me already, please do so. Hit the subscribe button. Um, and then you can see me every week and follow my journey. Let me know how you're getting on. How, how much weight have you guys lost this week? I'd love to know. Are you sim anyone in the same boat as me? Like wanting to do an SP day? That's it. Also, let me know about an SP day advice. If you've done it before, how you found it. Um, do you do it quite regular? What kind of things you eat on it? I might film an SP day. I think that's what I might do. I might do my SP day and film it for you. So that'd be something for you to, to look at. Just, I'm not gonna do it for the whole week, forget that. No, I, mm, I'll do it for like a couple of days out of the week. And I mean, when I say couple, I literally mean two, because I like my free food, so. But anyway, yeah, I think I'm gonna study about sleep SP day, because to be honest, I know that the um, the Slim World like, lady who does my group, she does recommend it to people that have stuck to plan, but they, they haven't lost, so she'd be like, oh, have you tried an SP day here and there? So, you know, just to give yourself a bit of a boost. So I'm gonna have a look at it, I don't fully, no, I think it's just eating loads of speed food and loads of protein. So the ones that are in the book list are with an S and a P. So like half your plate S is in, half your plate P or something like that. And then you get, is it one A and two Bs? Anyway, I'll have a little look anyway. But yeah, if you've got any advice on that, that'll be great. So thanks for joining me yet again. And I promise this time, I am definitely gonna see you on Sunday, okay? Thanks guys, take care, bye, bye.